tap B can be employed uh, in a couple of ways, one for our recce elements and one for our combat service elements uh, to be used as force protection. This is a highly protected vehicle, both for mine and IED blasts and ballistics. It's at the top end, as far as protection goes, for the armored fleets that we have within the uh, Canadian Armed Forces. At first glance, you may think that six people inside the TAP-V, there's not a lot of space, but there's sufficient functional space at each workstation for a soldier wearing personal protective equipment to do their job without hindrance and in relative comfort. One of the primary positive characteristics is mobility. We ran through a very rigorous reliability, availability, maintainability, and durability testing, 130,000 kilometers over a wide variety of terrain, including medium and severe cross country. No issues at all with the cross country capability of the TAP feed. After having driven the vehicle, I, I find it to, to be quite an effective uh, uh, vehicle going across some, some fairly significant uh, physical barriers and uh, the turning radius was outstanding. I did have a chance to operate the remote weapon system, not fire the weapon, but to use the, the sighting system. I thought that was actually a pretty excellent system. It's got the stability systems in it for both the, uh, the grenade launcher and the, uh, the machine gun. It's got some great optics, it's got great, great focus, the lasers are in there. I see it as, as a, an ideal vehicle for the, the type of things that we will do. A lot of technology has been uh, put, put forth uh, in this vehicle and it will be something that for the young soldiers that will be operating this equipment will be unique, but something that I believe that they're really going to enjoy to use as soldiers in the Canadian Forces.